Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Kiss chapter 21, verse 5. Bring it out. They shall not make boldness upon their head, neither shall they shave up the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. So let me show you something, brother. You, you shave your head, don't you? Now, did you know that you were made in the image of God? That's right. right. So why would you want to destroy that image? The Bring scripture it says God has woolly hair. I see the hair can grow on the side of your head. Yeah, it, can. it can grow. Embrace that woolly hair. I see the beard can grow on your face. You can have a better beard than me, brother. Would Bring you it out. It off? Now, yo, look how full yours is, man. Hey, I let it grow. Let yours. it be grown up. And on top of that, after on top of all of that, you would have a white woolly beard. Bring you know out. who else got a white woolly beard? Teach. Let me show you something. Oh, a few people got it. No, I mean somebody real important. You know who, who that real important person is? So probably he is the most important person in the world. That's right. Let me That's get Revelations right. chapter. Let me get Revelations. All right? Let me show you something. Let's show, point to me uh, Jesus Christ on that sign right there. Christ is the one right here. Which one? one? I'm just wearing the crown right here. Let me see which one. That's the one. You saying this is Jesus Christ right here? That's you say that Jesus Christ's son. So let me ask you a question. Is that how Jesus Christ looks according to the Bible? No. That's not how that looks. But why did you point to him when I asked no, you why, who no, no, Jesus no, no, was? No, 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 no. That that is Jesus Christ's son. Remember that? No, you you misunderstood. Jesus Christ. First of all, Jesus, first of all, Jesus didn't have any sons or daughters on the earth while he was here. Number Bring one. It out. Number two, I asked you which one was Jesus Christ. The issue with our people is they don't know that they are made in the image and likeness of God. But therefore, they see no value in themselves. That's why it's easy for a brother to shoot down another brother, or a, a brother to rape a sister, or a sister to rob a brother. Why? Because they don't see God in one another. They don't, they, they've been having white man Jesus taught in their mind so much, so long, they believe they just niggas. You understand? That's the psychological damage that happens to our people. So how we reverse that is to restore the image of who they are in their mind. I'm going to show you what Jesus Christ looks like. That's right. One, verse 101. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Now, so we're about to read the re revealing of Jesus Christ. What Jesus Christ really looked like. He is not a white man. Right, that right. man is named Cesare Borgia. Right. He is not the image of God. Bring right. it out. You look more like Christ Bring than the out. white dude on that picture. You understand? That's let's right. show you according to the, You shake your head. No, why? Because that's you can't right. believe it. You see, look, see, that's the problem. That's the issue with our people. You've been called and beat down so much so long, you, you reject Anytime somebody's trying to show you, you have more value than what society told you you have. That's you shook right. your head all the man. You didn't even realize you shook your head. No. When I said you look more like Jesus Christ. That's messed, that, that shows you. So listen, brother, and let the word heal you. I'm going to show you the image of God. You understand? Listen. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Brother, when you let your hair grow out, what texture is it? Is it straight and stringy or woolly and curly? What are you talking about hair on my head? Your head. You as a person right there, when you look in the mirror and you let those hair grow out, when you touch it, do you feel texture, woolly texture in your hair? I feel mostly woolly texture. Exactly, right? Now, who else just had woolly texture? Read that part again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So again, this is the revealing of Jesus Christ, who out. is the mirror image of the Heavenly Father as well. That's so right. what I'm trying to show you is now, you said when you let your hair grow out, you feel that woolly texture, right? Not that stringy texture like the white dude. So what I'm trying to show you, brother, is the black man is the image of God. 
That's so right. you need to get that in your mind. You understand? And reclaim the value that the world took from you. That's so now right. when you let that hair grow out, you feel that woolly texture, right? Read that part again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So now I see it already coming out of your face. What color is your hair? White. White like wool. That's right. Because you already got the woolly texture and now you got the white beard. So again, when you look in the mirror, you have to learn to see value. When right. you look at your brother, you have to learn to see value. When you look at that man, see Christ in him. When you look at that brother, see God in him. So guess what? It's not as easy to rob him no more, is it? No, it's not. He, like, I, I can look at you like, like, I can't, I'm like, I'm like, man, I can't do, that. can't do this brother wrong. When I see him, I see what the scriptures say Jesus looked like. Bring it out. You have value. Bring it you know out. But what they did is they told you you had no value and painted an image of a white guy in your mind. So when you look in the mirror, you see nothing. That's what they purposely did. I'm going to get more. Read on. As white as snow. Look at that beard, brother. Grow it out and show the image of God to the people. That's you understand? Right. Read. And his Read eyes on. were as a flame of fire. Why was his eyes as a flame of fire? When you drink wine, you ever drink wine? All right, so when our people drink wine, the whites of their eyes turns red, right? Yes. The scriptures talk about Christ drank wine in moderation. Let me show you something else. And his feet like a two fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. So now, brother, what color is brass? Brass is a metal. What color is that? All right, a penny. What color is a penny? I don't know. A penny is brown, right? Now, if you take a penny and you throw it in a fire and you burn it, what color is it going to become? Dark black brown. Right. Yes. Very dark brown. Why? Because as if it's burned in a furnace. It's showing you the skin complexion of Jesus Christ. A dark brown black man with woolly white hair. That's right. Brother, who am I looking at right now? You have to show, you have to, again, understand your value, brother. Understand your value. Bring it out. We understand your value because again we've been beat down so long look again subconsciously shaking your head you're frowning brother subconscious I, I, I see you like you're frowning brother this is supposed to be the best news you ever heard in your life when you look in the mirror you don't you don't supposed to see a nigga you're supposed to see what the Bible describes as Jesus right and God and the angels and the prophets and the Israelites. Why? That's because you right. are an Israelite according to the Bible. And we were made in the right. image and likeness of God. That's you right. You understand that? Yes, I understand. So now, with that being said, if we are the children of God, made after his image, and we are commanded to keep his laws, statutes, and commandments, why are we constantly sinning against him? Why? Why? I'm going to show you why. We, we got white man Jesus in our mind. Right. We got false religion in our mind. Right. We got the Christian right. church in our mind. Right. And right. that yeah. is what destroyed the community. The Christian church is worse than crack. Why? Because it corrupts your soul. Teach. You understand that? You know how hard it is to clean up your spirit and your mind? See, crack, you go to rehab. Christianity you know, made a white image of a, 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 a God in a, a white image in your mind. Make you bow down to a white man in your mind. That's terrible, bro. You understand? So I'm gonna show you where this actually, what that actually originated from. The I'm book gonna... of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 13. Bring it out. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips. To... So, so stop. This people talk about the Israelites. We all. Do you, let me ask you a question. Do you love God? Right. You see, you draw near Him with your mouth and with your lips. You do honor Him. But what? But. Have removed the hurt far from me. We have removed our mind away from God, of, from keeping his laws. Why? Why has that happened? And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. These are the ones who lied to you and taught you an altered gospel, who taught you a false version of the Bible. Let me see that turn a little bit. John Smith taught you Baptists. You are the Baptist Ch Christian Church, made in 1608. The Bible predates that. Joseph right. Smith. Bring it up. Mormonism, 1830. The Bible predates that. Ellen G. White, Seventh Day Adventist, in 1863. The Bible predates that. That's Charles right. T. Russell, who taught Jehovah's Witness. We all got cousins and aunties who's Jehovah's Witness. But Bring guess what? Up. The Bible predates that. That's One more, Charles Parham. Pentecostal.
Pentecostal church, like the Church of God in Christ. 1901, the Bible predates that. So does your people. You predate those false religions. Look, in your eyes of your enemy over there, he hates the fact that the truth is coming out. His spirit is yelling at you to stay asleep. Right. Why? Because he, if he knows that if you stay asleep, his reign lasts a little longer. His people will stay on top. Guess what, brother? Now it's time for you to wake up and reclaim the earth. Reclaim your rightful place as the son of God. Right. You understand? Because look at this. And then now, they taught Rastafarianism to our people. With Heli Selassie and all that. That is a false religion. They That's taught right. Islam to our people. That is a false religion. Look at the Arabs. They're enslaving you. Forcing Islam on you during the sub-Saharan slave trade. Bring it out. Do you understand that, brother? Do you understand? I'm going to show you something else. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 20. And thou, and both, the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. Get, shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. But thy eyes shall see thy teachers. Today is a new day. No longer will the true gospel be hid on the world. Right. But we are here to proclaim to everyone that you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the Israelites, That's according right. to the Bible. That's God's right. true chosen people. That's and no right. longer will we sit idly by and watch you be lied to with the false religion of Christianity, right. Islam, uh, Seventh-day Adventists, Mormonism. No longer will we allow and sit back and watch a white image of a guy be pushed into your mind. Right. No longer will we sit back and watch you decay over and over and over as a nation. But now it's time for us to rest restore and show you, according to the Bible, your nationality. Now it's time to restore and show you the laws of your God. Now it's time for us to restore and show you the image of your God. Yes, and that in Christ, came for you and none else. Nobody else. See? Let me ask you, no, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Who did Jesus Christ come for? Jesus, right about now, is only coming for us because he cares. Because he what? Because he loves us. Yeah. Yeah. Let me show you something. Go ahead, brother. You got a question? Yes, sir. No, I have an answer. You said, uh -huh. why did Christ come? I said, who is Christ, Who did Christ come and die for? Yes. 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 That's my question. Yes, he did die. He heard so much. You know what I'm saying? About the Lord Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? And what he came for. Right. And what he... And who taught you that? Huh? Who taught you that? Taught me that? Yeah. My mother and my father. And who taught them, brother? My, uh, they passed. They passed. And now the question is, but, who look, taught okay. their pastor? Who taught their pastor? That's Bring what I'm out. asking, brother. Bring it out. Okay. Okay. I'm going to show you who taught their pastor. Bring it out. I'm going to show you. Listen. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 13. Bring it out. Wherefore, the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. Hold on. You just acknowledged, yeah, my mama taught me the Bible. I believe in the Bible for what? 60 something years and so forth and so on. You draw near him with your mouth. You honor God with your mouth. Right? And with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. Said regardless of all that, you still have removed your heart and your mind far from the true and living God. How have you done that? Listen. And their fear toward me. Your understanding of God in the Bible is what? Taught by the precept of man. You on. have been taught by your enemy the false doctrine of who God is. But today is the day. You are going to learn the true understanding of the Bible and who Christ came for. Who did Christ come for? He came for the black man. Who did Christ come for? He came for the Hispanic man. Who did Christ come for? He came for the native Indian man. Who are these people? They make up the southern and northern kingdom of Israel. The true Israelites, the true Jews according to the Bible. Look. Look at this. Look around you. All these the Jews are walking the streets not knowing who they are. Brother, sister, mothers, fathers. You are the Israelites, but you don't know who you are. You look, I'm gonna show you how much value you got because the Son of God himself came down to die for you and nobody else. That's right. Let me show you something real quick. Go to John 3.16. Go to John 3.16. We're gonna deal with it. We ain't going to 
And guess what? No longer is the Bible going to be preached by you. <laughs> Today is the day the Bible is going to be preached by the Israelites. That's right. The ones who this book belongs to. The book of St. John, chapter 3 and verse 16. Bring it out. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. What does that mean right there, brother? What does that mean? What does John 3, 16 mean? Because remember, you said you was yeah, taught. Yeah, I want to hear what yeah, you was taught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And remember, this is a dialogue yeah, back and forth, yeah, on, no, so you can't no, go on a long time. No, I ain't going nowhere. But, uh, but what I have yeah, understand that it took me 62 years to understand, man, that I is not walking a lot. good. All right, I brother. Get understanding of what the I question I was asking you. All right, I understand. Myself, I got you, brother. The I question I was asking again. Is that when people read John 3 16, there a lot of times people have the misunderstanding that Christ came to die for everybody. So let me show you how to read the Bible so it's not my opinion, not your opinion, not anyone's opinion. We have to let the Bible speak for itself, correct? Do you do would you like to let the Bible speak for itself? Yeah. Let's see, let, let's let the Bible speak for itself. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 9. Who shall he teach knowledge? And who shall he make to understand doctrine? So who is God going to teach the knowledge of this Bible? And who and how is he going to make you to understand the doctrine according to the Bible? How is that going to be, how is that going to be taught to you? Yes. Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. First and foremost, you got to learn the basics of the law. The basic understanding from the law and you have to be retaught again just like as a child when he is first born he has to drink the, mo the milk from his mother's breast then he grows stronger and he can move forward so now just like we are having to be reborn again because we've been taught lies for so long you have to learn the basics of the law to understand the bible read for precept must be upon precept so precept must be upon precept. You have to use the Bible to prove the Bible. One scripture is going to explain another scripture. So therefore, we ain't got to tell you what it means. We can show you where the Bible says what it means. Bring it out. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. So that's why we stop every so often. Because each line is going gonna, is gonna to show you what it's talking about. Line upon line. Here a little and there a little. You're going to see us when we answer questions, we're going to jump from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Because to understand the New Testament, brother, you got to read the Old. And to understand the Old, you got to read the New. So the whole Bible is, is, is one. You understand? So to understand it, we're going to show you and let it explain itself. Now, with That's that being right. said, go back to John 3.16. Read it straight through. Then we're going to break it down as the Bible says to break it down. The book of St. John. Chapter 3 and verse 16. Bring it out. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now we are going to break down John 3 16 in the way the Bible says you are to break it down to understand what it is saying. Read again. Chapter 45 verse 17. Bring it out. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Who, who, who shall be saved in the Lord? But Israel! Israel is the audience of people we're speaking about. Let's see what he calls Israel. Shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. The Bible is saying that Israel is the world without end. And That's who is Israel? Right. You blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. That's you are right. the world in which the Bible is talking about in the book of John 3.16. Now right. you understand something? Let's see real quick. Uh, let's see who Christ even came for. Let me get Matthew chapter 15 verse 24. Because when people say, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, guess what? If, you give, if I give you a dollar... Am I giving that dollar to everybody or am I giving it to you? Teacher. So if God gave Christ to somebody, the question is raised, who did he give Christ to? Who did he send Christ to and who did Christ come for? The book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 24. Read out. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Put plainly, he said I ain't coming for nobody else but the Israelites. 
I ain't coming for nobody else but you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Yes, he says, right. I am not sent. Meaning, don't even think for a second that he came for anybody else but y'all. Read on. Let me get uh, Luke chapter 19, verse 10. Because guess what? The Bible don't just say it in one spot. Don't just say it in two spots. It says it all over the Bible that Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, came for the Israelites only. That's right. The book of Luke, chapter 19 and verse 10. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. You see, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's the Son of Man right. has come to save that which is lost. Brother, what, what's your nationality according to the Bible? Black. You see, you're lost because you lost your identity. You lost who you are. You lost the identity of your God, the laws, and your nationality. But I'm here to tell you, an Israelite, according to the Bible. That's Guess what? Right. You was once lost, but now you are found, brother. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.